Sydney McLaughlin Labrone. 50 60 70. She's fast, no question about that. But did you know that she is the quickest in her specialty event? Listen to this and listen closely. Uh huh. Sydney McLaughlin Labrone. 50 60 70. That will tie the world record. Is that the world record? 50.68 was the record. It's a world record in the last event of the trials. Uh huh. She's done it again. Well, that's Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone for you. According to World Athletics, Sydney holds the 400 meter hurdle world record. After her explosive run at the US trials, she now also has the 2024 world leading time in the event. But she doesn't want to stop there. I mean, Guessing. I would love to dip under 50 at some point. I don't know if that's this year, I don't know if that's next year, whatever. Um, but just always chipping away, seeing what's possible and continuing to just improve the race. There's so many different ways to run it. And I feel like every time I'm on the track, I'm figuring out, okay, what's the best way, so. Guess you can say it's just Sydney being Sydney. That's no surprise though, as she has been steadily working her way to the top since she was young. In fact, she was only 17 years old when she made her Olympic debut with Team USA at the 2016 Rio Games. With that, she became the youngest Olympic track and field athlete since 1972. After earning two gold medals at the 2020 Tokyo Olympics, she has her sights on gold at the 2024 Olympics in Paris. As you know, McLaughlin Lavrone will compete in the 400 meter hurdles. In May, she posted a world leading qualification time in May of 52.70 seconds, surpassing the Olympic standard of 54.85 seconds. Her almost innate ability to outrun her competitors may have been influenced by the fact that track and field runs in the McLaughlin family. Growing up in Dunellen, New Jersey, as part of a family so focused on running, Sydney said her parents made sure not to put too much pressure on her at a young age. Why would she feel pressure, you may ask? Well, her father, Willie, was a semifinalist in the 400 meter at the 1984 Olympic trials. Her mother, Mary, on the other hand, was a 212 half miler at a high school in New York, where she ran on the boys team. All of our kids are fairly talented, Willie said. He did, however, admit that he found Sydney to be a little special. We saw it coming, it was just a matter of time. Sydney's brother and sister, Taylor and Morgan, were collegiate track and field athletes. Taylor won silver in the 400 meter hurdles at the 2016 World U-20 Championship and qualified with Sydney for the 2016 US Olympic team. Now you understand why it's too easy to feel pressured if you're surrounded by world-class athletes. It's a good thing that instead of letting that weigh her down, she rose to the occasion and started her path to greatness as well. She's on the same path to this day. She aims to snatch up the gold in her specialty event at this year's Summer Olympics. You heard that right. She intends to defend her title in the 400 meter hurdles at the Paris Olympics and was scratched from the 200 and 400 meter flat races that she had originally signed up for. It was a bit of a shock to some, but they understood the motivation behind it. I think we kind of just knew we wanted to come back to the hurdles, she told the Associated Press. I think this is kind of just our focus right now, given how she performed in her first 400 meter hurdles race for nearly two years. It appears that she has indeed been focusing on her specialty event. In fact, the Olympic champion cruised to victory in a world leading 52.7 seconds. She basically left her competitors trailing after her at the Edwin Moses Classic at Morehouse College. Although her winning time was well outside her world record of 50.68 set at the 2022 World Championships, the American was more than happy with her performance. It's a progression, shaking the rust off after two years. I'll take a 52.7, things to work on and I haven't had much hurdle practice, so there's things to improve, she said. What's more, her 52.70 run also happened to be the 2024 world leading time, at least at the time. That was important to note since she set a new world lead time, not to mention a new world record. Yup, she did. Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone broke the women's 400 meter hurdles world record for the fifth time after crossing the line in 50.65 seconds at the US Olympic trials in Eugene, Oregon. 
The 24-year-old Olympic champion improved on her previous mark of 50.68, set two years ago at the same Hayward Field track, and will travel to Paris to defend her title. The fact that she set another world record even before she arrived at the Olympic Games Paris 2024 made people optimistic about her performance in the France capital. When she broke her own world record of 50.68 with her 50.65 run, she easily went ahead of Dutch rival Femke Bol's 52.49 set at the European Championships earlier in June. At the US trials, McLaughlin Lavron led from the first hurdle and then never looked back as Hayward Field roared around her a fitting final and thrilling event for the 10-day championships. I'm definitely a little surprised it happened, but I'm still grateful, McLaughlin Lavron told a group of reporters after. I knew I was in 50-point high range, um, and it was just a matter of getting the stride pattern down. I knew the fitness was there, so I was a little shocked that it came together with not the best stride pattern that I was expecting, um, but definitely still grateful to know that the fitness is there and that there's more we can work on. Even she was in a state of disbelief after posting such a quick time. That will tie the world record. Is that the world record? 50.68 was the record. It's a world record in the last event of the trials. Just shock. Honestly, shock, said McLaughlin Lavrone, who covered her mouth in amazement when she crossed and saw the time. I know when it first came up, it said 50.67. I was like, there's just no way. Then, the clock adjusted down two ticks. I wasn't expecting that time, she said. Anna Cockrell and Jasmine Jones, who crossed the line at 52.64 and 52.77 seconds, respectively, finished second and third. Because they did, they will be joining Sydney in Paris. Meanwhile, Rio 2016 champion Dalila Muhammad finished sixth in what she said would be her final US trials. Um, it was good, I think this time I didn't get the results that I was hoping for, but honestly enjoyed it the whole way through. Um, you don't really normally feel that way at an Olympic trial, so I was thinking, this is gonna be bad. You're, you're having too much fun out here, but. Interestingly enough, it was the 34-year-old Muhammad who won gold in Rio when McLaughlin Lavron was just 16 years old, making her Olympic debut. Even then, Dalila recognized Sydney's talent. She's been amazing the whole way through, the Olympian told reporters. I still think she can go 49, I've said it before. Um, just we're in a world record. It's like we're not even shocked at this point. So um, she's just an amazing talent, a, a generational talent for sure. See, even a world-class Olympian hadn't been surprised that Sydney yet again set a new world record. For her part, Sydney called the world record a confidence booster going into Paris. She later admitted that before the final, her coach, the legendary Bobby Kersey, encouraged her to. Not, to not be afraid to take it out uh, and to trust my fitness coming home and just She did just that. And what do you know? She broke her own record. When asked how she feels about representing the USA again, she said, I think it ever gets old. I think it's like reliving that childhood dream over and over again. And I'm grateful for this opportunity. It's a really hard team to make, so I don't take it for granted. I don't take it lightly. Uh, and I just want to do the best I can. Sydney has also credited her performance to the people who helped her chase success. Uh, having a great team around you, I, this sport definitely takes a lot out of you. Um, and I think I have a wonderful coach, a wonderful support system staff, Malachi, my husband, uh, so many people who help make that long journey. She also shared, my husband asked me yesterday, what do you think you can do? And I told him, I don't know. Then today, I crossed the line, and I'm like, oh, snap. I'm blessed and happy to be here. Her record-breaking win doesn't so much reset the storyline for the Olympics, though, as she would have been the heavy favorite anyway. It did, however, raise the question of what she can achieve next. Overall, Sydney will be competing in her third Olympics when she travels to Paris next month. In 2016, she became the youngest athlete to make the United States Olympic track team since 1980 at just 17 years old. Although she didn't bring home a medal in her first Olympics, she impressed in Tokyo to solidify herself as an Olympic star. Watch this to see who else will get on the plane to Paris.